fine, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine, yes, yes. <laughs> So you mostly give. Well, so I wouldn't say if I was, would I? Wait till I've signed. <laughs> wait till I've signed it. And they'll say, "Who the fuck's he?" <laughs> <laughs> So, do you ever um, paint up one day and then come back with a stencil another day, do that sort of thing? Should do, really, because, you know, it's nice to get the emulsion down. And dry. Yeah, rather than watching it dry. <laughs> but, uh, you know, today we're going to have to watch it dry. Hmm. So tune right. in later. Tune in later. <laughs> No, she lifted her back up. Oh, right, well, that's annoying. Just check if it's dry. Right, if you want done, if you want to do a whole way, you did in London yeah. and that's the wrong wall so that's the wall you didn't do in London yeah they've written about the wall I did and they've got 
picture of the wrong wall. From the picture factory. Ah. We need a picture of a blank we wall. We need a picture of a wall in North London. Yeah. Of two girls, no, a girl and a boy. Yep. Yeah. Oh. He's a very nice and pleasant chap. Well, that's wrong. I don't think this is actually an eyewitness, because no. that wasn't you, was it? In an army jacket and black jeans. I'd never wear black jeans. Yeah. I haven't worn them for years. Mousy cropped hair. Yeah. Mm. No, not sure about that. So it, this bloke saw me paint a big lime green square on the wall and then decided I was Banksy. I mean, you did actually tell everybody concerned that you weren't Banksy. Yeah, and signed it with you know, Hutch. Hutch, yeah, so. So, do you think it's just sort of like the cult of wishing that there was something yeah. more to life, you know? They and just even, want to believe that they're somehow rubbing shoulders with urban legends. Yeah, and then as soon as the newspapers get in, in touch... They just get a bit carried knows, away. Yeah, they know they'll get in there. I mean, given that their main feature is that they've got an interview with Banksy anyway. Yeah. Makes you wonder whether this is all a load of old bullshit or not. But everybody's at it. Everybody wants it. Mm. So I'll have to go to this wall sometime. I don't know where that is. <laughs> yeah, let's go and paint that one, see if we can drag it down. We could paint the car as well. Yeah, if people like the bloke who stopped here when we were painting has obviously never seen it. Yeah. When there's like, you know, a train journey to Waterloo, you can go and see hundreds of, like 600 different artists work all, all in one place, but we still never heard of it. Yeah. Because you rely on the mail on Sunday to tell him about it. And there's people who think that out of all those 600 artists that painted at Cairns, some, some people actually think Banksy did all of it. That's incredible, really. <laughs> I mean, it's so just obvious it's what's a, going on. Yeah. yeah, so they actually just think there's one man doing yeah. the whole thing. So, I mean, I've read that maybe 25,000 people walked through uh, in the first three days yeah. at Leak Street. I mean, that's a lot of people, isn't it? That's good. That's why it's worth doing stuff on walls rather than doing stuff in, you know, for galleries specifically. And then the galleries suddenly want, want it on their walls. So, the Tate Modern's doing a whole thing about street art at the moment. Yeah, I've noticed that. And it's, it just seems like someone sort of missed the point, or they're in the wrong place, or I don't know, what's going on? Have they been, do you think they've been snubbed by the English market or have they just no, not really asked them? I think it's because the artists they've got are all international. So they've, they've done stuff all over the world. And so that's why they've got them. Whereas, whereas a lot of the English artists might have only done stuff in a few, you know, over Europe and stuff. Maybe. And they know they knew that the ones they got could fill a wall that, that big outside. Yeah. <laughs> it did seem a little bit like it was ordered by the meter. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, equally, you know, you got a situation where you know the Tate Modern uh, seem to have turned a blind eye to anything that's happening in England. Uh, Banksy has decided to open his probably fairly well filled wallet and pay for Leak Street, yeah. which is a nice gesture. I think everybody seems to be, you know, very much puts him in the place of the people's people's graffiti artists, I suppose. And, um, you know, and then you got the paradox of somewhere like uh, Selfridges is, is doing a yeah. whole exhibition of stuff that is, you know, blatantly just gonna go for auction next month and uh, get shed loads of money. All seems a bit, a bit odd. It's like sort of three different things happening at different speeds in different worlds. Yeah, and they are. 